about this. Um, I like to think of myself as a fairly experienced dinghy sailor, but it seems likely now that the reason for Tarka sinking a little bit during her recent capsize test was user error. I had a little bit of a think about it, um, as you saw the, uh, the, if you watched the video of the capsize, um, you would have seen water gushing out of these hatch covers. And uh, I was a bit concerned, of course, to see how much water there was in the buoyancy tanks. And I thought that if water, water was gushing out of the hatch covers, then uh, there's a fair chance that, that is where water is gushing in. Almost the first thing I did was put a post up on the Dinghy Cruising Association Facebook page saying my points tanks are filling with water, might be the hatch covers. Any thoughts? Can I seal them? Or should I just be filling the buoyancy tanks up with something um, that will keep them buoyant even if water gets in, i.e. a buoyancy bag or something like that? Uh, lots of replies. Um, some people say, yep, put a buoyancy bag in there. Other people say, you know, if you do that, um, it will get damp in there, the wood will rot, your buoyancy tanks should be safe, should be, um, should be watertight. I thought I'd have a look at the hatch covers themselves and investigate the, um, the seals uh, around here. So um, I came along with my screwdriver, took the screws out, opened up the, um, we tried to get the, uh, the hatch cover surround off, but I couldn't. And you can also see around here there is um, there's sealant gushing out. So uh, I don't think there's any chance of water getting in around the edges here very quickly. Um, someone's done a good job of sealing those up proper. And then another person posted on the uh, on the thread that I'd started saying you do have o-rings around your inspection hatch lids don't you? No, no, no I, I don't. Um, turns out that uh, these hatch cover lids should have o-rings around them to keep them tight. So as I say I feel a bit silly about this but if that is the reason for Tarka almost sinking then there's uh, no other problem then that is a pretty simple fix. Just uh, six, seven um, o-rings, I think it's seven, not too expensive and hopefully that will make the tanks completely watertight. I've got the O-rings. I'm not going to capsize Tarka again to see what happened. I don't think I need to. Um, I think what I've done is set up a test where I have filled this tank beneath me here, which has got the cover over it, um, as full as I can with water. Tarka is tilted slightly forwards at the moment. I think when I tilt her back, water should flood towards this part of the tank and um, we'll see if water comes out through this hatch cover or not at the moment. In practice, tilting Tarka backwards didn't quite produce the flood of water that I'd hoped and so the only way to get a decent test or demonstration was to fill up the points tanks as much as I could and then uh, slap the inspection hatch cover on quickly and uh, then get the phone in close to show you what was coming out or not. Um, this one is uh, a hatch cover with no o-ring on it. Let's get a real close up with the area once more. So now I'm swapping hatch covers. Off comes the hatch cover with no o ring. Quickly uh, top the tank up with a little bit more water and then pop the hatch cover with the o-ring seal on it and see what happens.
put the o-ring just back on and there is as far as I can see no dripping that seems to be dry so there we go not perhaps the most dramatic or exclusive of tests but it'll do for now maybe unfortunately i think we're going to have to abandon that section there because if the sound was bad in the first section i recorded it was dreadful in that one uh, when i just watched it back so i'm gonna have to sit here indoors without the lake behind me and um just uh, go through um, or say what I said all over again. The first thing uh, I was um, saying was it wasn't the most uh, spectacular test um, and not particularly conclusive maybe, not as spectacular as I hoped and didn't get the cascade of water um, through the inspection hatches that I had done the other week uh, when I capsized to Arca. Does that mean that I need to capsize her again? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to in the near future anyway. Um, a lot of the lessons that I wanted to get from capsizing Tarka, um, I did get. Um, we saw how she floated, um, that she didn't want to uh, invert. The mast seemed to hold her comfortably on her side. Um, we saw how she floated when she came back upright again and how after the first capsize when the, when the um, points tanks were relatively dry um, they brought Tarka up high enough out of the water to make bailing quite easy. It's not the only way to test the um, integrity of the buoyancy tanks, there are other ways um, and uh, as I've said a number of times Tarka's going to go to the boat builder for a number of jobs um, in a few weeks time and uh, if there are more reasons for the buoyancy tanks leaking other than just the lack of the o-ring then um, that is something that the boat builder can investigate and fix hopefully as well so discovery of the importance of o-rings in tarka um, made me go and check our mirror dinghy uh, we've had a mirror dinghy for a couple of years which we bought simply for um, sarah and kira to do adult and child week at um, the sailing club up in uh, in North Norfolk and we've also brought it down here to Stuartby to sail and uh, it's been quite a success. Um, it's got inspection hatches similar to this one on its buoyancy tanks and uh, I took those hatch covers off and there were no o-rings on uh, the mirror dinghy either. So um, that made me wonder whether there are loads of um, these kinds of inspection hatch covers out there with no o-rings on them and uh, maybe the owner's not realising that their buoyancy tanks aren't quite as watertight as they um, as they think they are. Um, in a lot of cases it doesn't matter. Um, these inspection hatches are often located in places where they are hardly ever, if ever, below the waterline even when the boat's capsized, uh, in which case it really doesn't matter if they let in a little bit of water. But um, in Tarka's case, as we saw, when the inspection hatches go um, several inches underwater without the o-rings they seem to let water in and out very quickly. Um, in self-mitigation, um, and uh, possibly for mitigation of anyone else out there who might suddenly realise that uh, they've got no o-rings on their hatch covers, um, I think it's quite easily missed. What I'm doing here is I'm holding up two inspection hatch covers, one with an o-ring on it and one without, and uh, you possibly wouldn't really... well, it's, it's quite hard to tell the difference. The other thing is that we use um, plastic bottle tops, just screwing onto a plastic thread all the time and uh, they seem to provide a completely watertight seal uh, which I'm demonstrating here with this water bottle and there's not an o-ring in sight. So the result of all that is that Taka is going to have o-rings attached to all her inspection hatch covers and so is Jemima the mirror dinghy and hopefully that will solve the problem and uh, maybe I will do another capsize test in the spring. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's about it, so all that I want to say now is thank you very very much indeed to everyone who has watched the first two videos 
especially if you've liked and subscribed and even more especially if you've left a comment which I really enjoyed reading um, some really interesting and useful tips um, that I've got and um, yeah, I'll certainly be putting some of those ideas to the test uh, maybe in future videos. Uh, apologies I did say that I would do a video about our Norfolk Broads trip in our next video. Um, that is now going to be the next video or possibly in the next video but one if something else comes up in between but um, I did want to get this one done as soon as possible um, because it is sort of a follow-up to the, uh, the capsize but uh, we had our Norfolk Broads trip and it was great and um, it gave us some interesting things to think about as well so I'll do a video talking about that one soon. Thank you very much indeed for watching this one I'll see you next time. Bye!